YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a video where we go through and look back through the decades on fashion. Um, just so you know, I'm mostly looking at women's fashion and I'm just mainly looking at women's fashion as I am a woman. Um, if you wanted me to look at and review men's fashion, you can, you're welcome to comment that down below and I can do that. Um, but let's just get right into it. Okay, so I've got my handy dandy laptop down here. Um, I've got photos. I'm going to be going from the 2010s all the way back to the 1900s. Um, that's what we're going to do. I really hope this video doesn't turn out super long, but we're going to do that. Okay, so we're going to start out with the 2010s. Um, I've got four photos. I'm just going to be putting them right up next to me as I talk about them. So, let's see. So this first photo is a pic picture of Miley Cyrus. Um, I don't know how I feel about this outfit. To, you know, I was alive, obviously, like, for this, but I was very young, so I didn't, you know, think about... I didn't really dress myself. Um, I didn't really dress myself because this was, like, I was very little. Um, but she just, you know... However... I don't know, I feel like you can see her pant, her short pockets, which is kind of freaking me out, making me uncomfortable. Her long necklace is something that I would never wear in my life because it's just so long and big and like how I could never be comfortable with that. I don't know, like this is a very good, like a cute look, I guess. I It's her very, it's a very like hippie look, I feel like. But I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Okay, so this is, you know, if you've seen Twilight, this is Bella. Um, she's just kind of wearing like a denim jacket, or denim, whoa, whoa, okay. She's just wearing like a leather jacket, some boots, jeans, and like a t-shirt. I like this, this is cute. I mean like I probably would never wear it now, and I don't know if I'd like anyone wearing it now. But like it was cute for back then, honestly. Like, I really like the shoes actually. The shoes are super cute, I guess. I don't know, I can't really tell what's happening with the shoes. Maybe they're actually not, I'm just kidding, I take that back. The shoes have got something on them, which is not, not it. I mean, yeah, you know what, we can work with it, we can work with it, we'll take it, whatever, we're moving on. Okay, so this picture is a picture of, like, some actors and stuff. Rita Ora, Mary-Kate Olsen, Daisy Lowe, Taylor Monson, I don't know who, like, two of these people are, but it's fine. Uh, Cara Dela, I don't know how to say her last name, blah, 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 okay, moving on. I have met Rita Ora, she's chill, she was very nice. I, it was young. I was very young when I met her, and I was at, like, a, like a cell phone store, like a Verizon or something. I don't know. But she was, like, singing there, and we took a picture, and she was like, you're so cute. And I was like, you're so cute. Anyway, I'm, like, trying to balance my laptop, so you guys can tell I'm not, like, just, like, looking at the floor. Anyways, um, so, like, with these outfits, Mary-Kate, literally, I'm not vibing with whatever she's wearing. Her makeup looks whack. They all have, like, this black eyeliner look. You know, because, like, there was, like, this grunge moment in, and in, in, I'm not really a part of, like, I don't like that. I'm sorry, but, like, the, the eyeliner makes me uncomfortable, in my opinion. Like, well, I just, that's so dark, and it's not, it's not it. It's really not. Um, Rita Ora's, I like her pants. I like the, like, um, the dress that Daisy's wearing, and, like, I don't know. I feel like tailor the jeans and like the t-shirt thing was cute the boots are not the vibe the boots are really not the vibe in any of these photos to be honest with you i don't know i like the beanies though the beanies are cute i like beanies but i'm also not vibing with the fact that Kara is literally wearing like something like she's wearing the what's it called thing around her waist but she's also wearing like two jackets i don't know we're moving on from that okay so this picture is a picture of um ariana grande like at like a Make-A-Wish event or something, but I am just not vibing with the belt, the bag, or the shoes. The like, the, what's it called? What is it called? Oh, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's, I like the pattern, it's cute. Um, I'm just not vibing with those shoes, like what? How tall are they? Like she really be out here like adding inches to her height, like that's not the vibe. I'm sorry, but I'm not vibing with it. So that's it for the 2010s. I was live and we were chilling. So I don't know. So this is the t early 2000s. So I was like barely being born. Because I was born in 2003. So I was like barely being born. Like, yeah. Anyway. 
So this first picture is a picture of, crap, I forgot her name, but I've watched movies with her, like, she's cool, like, I like her, but, um, oh wait, who is this? Okay, I'm stupid. So this first picture is a picture of Lindsay Lohan. She's wearing, like, these flare jeans and, like, sandals or something. And then, like, this top, I'm sorry, but I'm just not vibing with it. Like, there are some cute, like, tie front tops this, like, now that I really like and, like, want to buy, but, yeah. We're working on it, I swear. Anyway. Um, but I'm just, I don't know. And, like, the jeans, like, the low cut, like, the, like, the low waist jeans. I'm, I hate that. I, like, I'm, like, I respect you if you wear them. Like, I'll respect you, whatever. But I cannot do that. Like, I have to have, like, high waisted jeans, like, over my belly button jeans um i don't know we're moving on from that i was not i'm sorry but i'm not vibing with it okay so this next picture is a picture from of hillary duff and her co-star on um lizzie mcguire that show from like you know the early 2000s um but i absolutely love this show i watched it like the other day because i love it it's great so when quarantine started actually i or maybe it was actually, it was before quarantine. I binge watched this show and it was so good. And I used to watch it when I was younger, but I just like barely remember it. Um, but I just love the style, like Lizzie McGuire's, like the whole, like their whole style was so cute. I loved it. Like, I feel like being like older in like the early 2000s, like, like 20s ish, their like style was not really cute in my opinion. But if I was like a 10 year old or like early teenager like vibes like teenage like 13 their style was so cute and i loved it like please bring that back like it was so cute so this next picture is a picture of ashley tisdale i absolutely i got no shade whatsoever but i hate this outfit like it's she's like wearing like a tank top with like a shirt over it and then like jeans and like a skirt over that and then like her bag Ugh, like enough said like you cannot like I'm sorry like you agree with me I know you agree with me that it's like really bad okay so this is the classic like if you think of early 2000s this is what you think of like this like this like a uh, matching tracksuit with like a white tank top or tube top or something underneath it with like a bag and like the your pants are like literally low-waisted and the glasses like this is enough said like you 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 get it you see what i'm saying right i don't know how i feel about it it's whatever like it's honestly all i can think about when it comes to early 2000s okay into my favorite part the 90s i love the 90s okay the 90s is literally one of my favorite eras like i'm gotta be honest i think it's so cute like they wear the cutest little things like it depends on like sometimes there can be fashion nos but there's like literally their vibe is so cute. I love it, honestly. Like I'm just gonna show you these pictures and just like tell you that I love it and you'll just get what I'm going getting at here. Like it I feel like layering things like like leggings or skirts and skirts and like even okay, when I was little I I hate to say this guys, but I would layer shorts over leggings like that was a thing that happened when we were all younger like in like middle school and you know it you know what happened and i uh, let's never go back to that please thank you but like if you ever did that in any of the eras i just please don't anyway i loved the 90s you should love the 90s thank you okay we're going into the 80s now so this picture is not the vibe i'm sorry but it's not the vibe i don't like this picture um, can I also note that all of these pictures that I found, these are all just off the internet. Like, I don't know how, like, accurate any of it is. I just found them off the internet. But, okay. So, like, this is clearly from a catalog. Um, but, I don't know how I feel about it, though. I'm just not vibing with, like, the frilly tops. Like, I'm not vibing with that. The jeans are okay. Yeah, anyway. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so like mostly this is like what the 80s was kind of known for was like that aerobicized like we are in tights and some fun colored leotards and that's all we wore. Thank you. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, this vibe, Madonna vibe, love it. 
so cute. I love the dresses. I love the vibe. Yes. Thank you. That's that's all I've got to say. Because I feel like within decades, there was a lot of different things that happened. In, with, like, within different things, like, the 80s had, like, a lot of different vibes, like, within it. And the Madonna, like, the Madonna, like, look or whatever is the vibe, and I like it. Okay, my favorite, the 70s. If you've seen that 70s show, you are blessed. I love that show. It's so good. Jackie and, like, the things that Jackie wore were my favorite. Like, Jackie's outfits were amazing. Um, I don't think that was, like, this obviously, like, probably wasn't actually filmed in the, I mean, that obviously wasn't filmed in the 70s, but it was great. Thank you. Okay, so this next picture, um, and then this picture, at least, is very cute. I actually love that they're both wearing, like, matching things. Like, I love the blue and the pink and, like, the pattern choices, and this obviously was, like, for, like, a modeling thing. But I'm just, like, loving the choices that they made, and it's super cute, super cute. I like this actually a lot. I like this one cute this whoa I like this one as well I really love like the color scheme like they had a lot of color coordination which I thought was super cute and then again we're going back with Jackie like Jackie really outfits really do be out here like looking good and that's that's all that I care about when it comes to the 70s thank you 60s so 60s fashion was very interesting I like their way that their they their dresses were very like square a rectangly with like you know i like the cinched waist that they have going on like that's really cute i'm glad they like maybe showed a little bit of figure which was nice but the pockets were kind of interesting i don't know i'm actually kind of digging that picture um this one i'm kind of like vibing with it like actually kind of vibing. like i would never honestly with most of these decades i would there's only a few of them that i would actually wear now and we can talk about that later like i wouldn't really wear this now but and this last one was very, is very green and yellow, but I'm like, the way that they styled, like, build their dresses and stuff were, like, very interesting, and I love that. On to the 50s. So, 50s, Grease vibes, okay? I liked Grease. Grease was a very, very amazing movie, and I've also, all got to say on that. 50s was, like, the poodle skirt era. Um, in this picture, they've got, like, a bunch of big hats, which is super cute. Um, this one, you know, back like, with the poodle skirts. Which I absolutely like kind of love this like vibe like I think the skirts are super cute I would never wear a poodle skirt now like that's Obviously because you know we're in 2020 But if I feel like if I lived back then I'd feel like I'd rather wear pants to be honest with you But I mean if I honestly if I lived back then I feel like I'd be stuck in that mindset of skirts are the vibe Are the vibe I've been saying vibe this entire video and I don't know how I feel about it Sorry But I don't know I feel like I do like the style, I guess, and I do like the polka dot theme and, like, the flowers, but I feel like I would rather wear pants. Hate to say it, but I'd rather wear pants. Okay, so this is the 40s. Um, I really do, like, I like some things, like, I would never wear a dress like this, ever. Like, ever. But I really like, actually, this is kind of cute. Actually, not really. I don't like the shirt. I like the shoes, though. Um, I like the patterns and I like the, like, use of hats and stuff. But, like, the way that they styled dresses and stuff was not cute to me. But, like, I feel like it's the, it's nostalgic, I guess. Okay, so to the 1930s. The 1930s. This is crazy. Um, they had a lot of, like, very big with patterns and hats again. Like, this is a big thing. Um, they did have, like, the shawls, like, the fur shawls, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and I loved the cars back then, but I know this video is about fashion, but, like, I like the cars. Sorry. Uh, but, like, again, with, like, the big coats and the fur and, like, the little hats and stuff, like, I'm, like, I kind of like the vibe. Like, I would never, I don't, I would never even be able to pull anything off like that. But, like, the big coats and those little hats. Like, I have a hat that looks like the one that's kind of, like, whoop you know i have one exactly like that and it's got like a black thing and it's maroon it's super interesting and cute but i don't know why i bought it but i did so okay the 20s i love the 20s 20s is super cute this is the flapper era um and i'm just like i am in love with like the flapper vibe thing i went my school dance in eighth grade was a flap was um 1920s themed and we all dressed up like flap like the little flapper girls or whatever and it was so cute. I loved it. I love the, like, we learned how to dance, like, 
faded in the 20s and I'm just like we got pearls and I went and got a cute little purple dress it was so cute I love just that kind of like look I guess okay so now on to the 1900s and the 1910s um that's what we're just gonna do that as it's one kind of category I'm only doing it like that because I feel like nothing really changed like I feel like they're outfits and fashion wise it was all pretty similar when I was doing my research and stuff so um so they did use like a lot of fans and uh, umbrellas which I thought was kind of cool I really liked the jackets over the skirt from the first photo or I'm gonna put it on this side actually I don't know why I pointed over there but from the first photo I really like their use of like fans again and they're like umbrellas I also really love just like the way that their dresses kind of came out, I guess, which was really cute. I don't know. I'm kind of, you know, we're, it's cute. It's cute. That's all I've got to say. Um, but that's honestly all I've got for that. That was very quick of me to go through that. My camera's just going to die and I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. And I've been very talking very fast and I'm sorry. But I just kind of want to talk about like what my favorite eras are. My favorite eras, I would probably say is in the 90s the 70s the 20s and then the early like 2000s if we were talking about hillary duff when she was younger with lizzie mcguire like if we're talking about those outfits and like i'll fully support the early 2000s but early 2000s are i just i can't i can't deal with the jeans man like the way that they're wearing their jeans is not it i don't like it anyways so that's really it for this video i thought it'd be really fun to kind of look at that stuff with you guys I really liked looking at that kind of stuff. Again, I love the 90s, the 70s, the 20s. It's all vibe. I love it. But I guess that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Um, check out all my social medias, which are in the description. And like this video. Check out my vlog channel, too, by the way. I've got a couple vlogs up there that I'd love for you guys to go watch for me. Um, definitely subscribe. When I hit 250 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a mini giveaway on this channel. Um... So, if you guys have any suggestions for the giveaway, please comment them down below. Um, like the video, you know, the usual. Don't really got anything else to say. Um, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or just whatever you're watching this. 